Well, here we are, gang. The Jumbo Gumbo Festival? Rummy Gumbo. No, silly. We're at the Kazuma County Museum of Natural History. I hear they have a really groovy dinosaur exhibit. Dinosaurs? That's right, Scooby. In fact, they have a brand new T-Rex skeleton that was discovered right here in Kazula County. Closed due to Bugman. Bugman? I wonder what they mean. Like I think it means that we should get out of here. What did you find there, Scooby? I don't know. Like it looks like glowing green guacamole. We just met our bug man. This place seems to be completely deserted. Dessert? That's a great idea! Scoob, let's go find ourselves some pastrami and chocolate sundaes. And squid sickles and jelly beans and sardines and... Guys! sandwiches and soda pop and chickpea chaloopers and frankfurters and yeah no me you betcha <laughs> <laughs> like you shouldn't sneak up on people like that what were you doing hiding behind that pillar oh sorry i, I wasn't hiding i was just trying to surprise the bug man i'm nigel nightwatch the head of museum security well, actually, come to think of it, I'm kind of the only museum security. And uh, who are you? Uh, I'm Fred, and this is Daphne, Velma, Shaggy, and Scooby-Doo. Nice to meet you. We haven't had visitors here for a real long time. This glowing bug monster guy has been scaring the wits out of me. Uh, I mean, the museum visitors. If this goes on much longer, the museum will close down for good. Monsters! Yeah, that's what I thought at first. But now I'm starting to think that it's an inside job. You know, one of the museum staff. So, like, why don't you bug the place and find out? <laughs> <laughs> well, we solved mysteries. Is there anything we can do to help? I'd sure appreciate it. Someone's been going to a lot of trouble to mess up the museum's exhibits. I've been doing a little detective work myself, and I put together files on the five main suspects. I keep them in the office. All of them work for the museum and might have their own reasons for messing things up. All the same, I can't seem to put all the pieces together. I've narrowed it down to the museum director, the cook, the maintenance supervisor, the information desk attendant, and the paleontology professor. You can look at the files in the office anytime you like. And if you need my help, you can use one of the museum's intercoms. Well, gang, it looks like we've got a mystery to solve. And the answer is somewhere in this museum. guys, let's take a peek in the office. I'd like to have a look at some of those dossiers. I sure hope dossiers is Spanish for pancakes. No, silly. A dossier is a file that has information about a person. Yup, pancakes. <laughs> look, everybody. These are the files that Nigel talked about. They should tell us about the suspects. Let's take a closer look. That's Dave Hammer. The maintenance supervisor. That's Dave Hammer. That's Ralph Rosen, the information desk attendant. 
Now that we know more about the suspects, it's time to find some clues. Uh-uh! Like, no way are we exploring this creepy place! We're staying right here! Yeah! Would you change your mind for a Scooby Snack? A Scooby Snack? Like, sure! Do you have one? Come on, gang! Let's head over to the rock and mineral exhibit! Rocks! Rocks! Like I like to rock! Oh, brother! This exhibit has everything! Geological substrata, crystalline formations, even volcanic formations! Hey! Since when are volcanic formations green? Hmm... Maybe this green slime is a trail left by the Bugman. Bugman? Run, run. Say, Fred, how about you three check it out while Scoob and I stay here and look for clues under the rock? Come on, you two. Hello? Is this thing on? Right. Hey, Dr. C, it's me, Dave Hammer. I thought I'd use a tape recorder to leave you a list of supplies I need to clean the museum. Sure has been a mess since that bug man thing started. Let me tell you what I'll need. I'll need a box of rags, two new mops, the good kind, no cheap mops, and a better kind of floor soap. This green slime is really hard to get off the floor, not to mention my shoes. I bet if we stay right here, the bug man can't get us. Are you sure about that? No, not really. <laughs> Everybody, let's take a closer look at the fluorescent rock exhibit. Like I can see everything fine from right here. Yeah, me too. Oh boy, it looks like the bug man really messed up this exhibit. Mess is right. Maybe if we clean it up, we'll find a clue or two. Come on, Shaggy, help me put these rocks back in the right order. Right order? Look guys, rocks are just rocks, right? Wrong, Shaggy. These fluorescent rocks are special. If we turn on the light with that switch, we may be able to see the rocks' true colors and show us how to complete the patterns on the shelves. Let's give it a try. Good job, gang! Now, let's see where this slime trail leads. Like more rocks! <laughs> the Bugman has certainly been busy. Let's see if we can sort this out. Oh, 
The rocks are back in place. Way to go, guys! Rutro! Like, not quite all! I see! It looks like the Bugman messed up another display. We really should have another look at those glowing rocks. Yeah! Putting this exhibit back together might help us find a clue. That rock and mineral exhibit is really neat. Yeah, like it really puts the G in geology. Like we're not going in there. No way. Would you change your mind for a Scooby snack? Like you betcha. Scooby snack. Uh-huh. Let's split up. Velma, why don't you and Shaggy and Scooby go check out what's over there? Like dinosaurs. Yikes. Not real one, silly. Let's go have a look. Bones! Like you've hit the jackpot, Scoob. Bones as far as the eye can see. Those bones are millions of years old. Zoinks! Like shouldn't that dinosaur have a head? Yeah! The bug man has definitely been here. Let's see if we can find that dinosaur's head, and a clue while we're at it. Archaeological Notes Dr. Sandy Chin This museum is a fascinating place. Everywhere I look, there are new discoveries. I was digging in the dinosaur pit the other day, and I found a trail of green slime. I thought it might be a major scientific discovery! That is, until I saw the same stuff in the kitchen, the offices, and the other exhibits. look at this other room. We'll be like right behind you. Yeah, behind you. Like when the T-Rex lost his head, somebody put it in here. There must be a way to roll the crates out of the way and slide the T-Rex skull out the door. The crates look like they only roll either up and down or left and right. Like it sounds like a piece of cake. Cake? Not now, Scooby-Doo. First, let's solve this mystery.
Good job, guys. <laughs> Boy, this is hard work. Yeah. Well, considering that you two hardly work, this should be a welcome change. crates are in this crazy warehouse let's keep at it until the dinosaur head is back in the exhibit Scoob, we like made it. Oh no. We're almost there. Just one more room to get through. to solving this mystery. Let's organize each clue. Like, look at this shirt, Scoob. Museum staff? Yeah, you totally have to work here to get one of these, right, pal? Uh-huh. Like, look at this shirt, Scoob. Museum staff? Yeah, you totally have to work here to get one of these, right, pal? Uh-huh. Like, look at this shirt, Scoob. No way are we going in there. It's creepy. Uh-uh. Would a Scooby Snack change your mind? Consider it changed. Yeah, yeah. Let's check out the insect hall for some clues. Okay, Velma. But like only as long as all the bugs are little bugs. Yeah. Riddle bugs. Come on, you two. What? <laughs> well, it's a bug thing. <laughs> Calm down, you scaredy cats. It's just a display. Like this must be where all the bug man's buddies hang out. It's the insect exhibit, Shaggy. Like this fascinating display of Hymenoptera over here. Like Hymena, who's it? That's an order of insects, Shaggy. Then I'll have two orders of insects, please. Hold the mayo. Oh, boy. Yeah. 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 Testing, testing, yes. Elocution practice tape, take 37. The rain in Spain falls mainly down the drain. No. The plane on the rain is mainly in my brain. No? One more time. <clears throat> the rain is... Oh, my! <laughs> Midnight already. Time to go. Mustn't stay in the museum all night. The bug man, you know. <laughs> Let's take a closer look. Like the bug man was totally messing with this exhibit. Check out the green slime. If we get the ants back to the right places in the ant farm, maybe we'll learn something more about the Bugman. 
we can open and close gates to help get the ants back home. Let's give it a try, man. Okay. We've done it. All the ants are back where they belong. Like what was up with those ants? Yeah. The bug man's green slime must have really freaked them out. Ha! Huh, what chicken? Yeah, scaredy ants. Hey, look! Zoinks! What is it? The bug man! Right? No, you sillies. It's a clue. I think this needs to come back to the office with us. Let's go, guys. Great job, gang. We got another clue. Now, let's see where it goes. Come on, gang. Let's take another look at those personnel files. I wonder... The bug man... Like the cafeteria? If you guys need us, we'll be investigating. <laughs> I mean, investigating. <laughs> oh, glorious food! A whole cafeteria, and we're like the only ones here. And I always thought museums were boring. Ice cream! Like, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Like, what am I saying? Of course you are! You're listening to Billy Season's Recipe Roundup. Today, I'll tell you how to make Billy's delicious guava gumbo. Let's go! Cool, Just man! Just a 14-quart saucepan.
Double chocolate sardine cone coming right up. Like that creepy bug man must have taken all the labels off this ice cream machine. Well, that's not gonna scare us away, huh, Scoob? How about pressing those buttons and then pulling that lever to serve me up a triple decker cone? Okay. I'll tell you if you pick the right flavors. That way, we'll fix this groovy ice cream machine and maybe find a clue. Well, we're gonna fix the ice cream machine, right? You betcha. Like you know what sounds good about now, Scoob? Like an ice cream cone with orange artichoke, strawberry taco delight, chocolate sardine. Chocolate sardine, strawberry taco delight, cherry grilled cheese. Two out of three ain't bad, Scoob. Like why don't you give it another try? Strawberry Taco Delight, Chocolate Sardine, Orange Artichoke. You did it, Scoob! Looks delicious! Ah, Scoob! Like when do I get my ice cream cone? <laughs> Like that machine's going crazy, Scoob. Let's get out of here. Huh? Like it must be a clue. Let's get this back to the office and show it to Velma. Like, let's see if we can figure out where to put this clue. Okay. Jeepers. A bottle of sunblock. Whoever uses this must spend some time... Jeepers. A bottle of sunblock. Whoever uses this must spend some time in the sun. Let's split up. Daphne and I will go check out this archaeology exhibit. Jeepers! Wow! This archaeological exhibit has everything from ancient Egyptians to Romans... To vandals! Huh? Someone has messed up this ancient mosaic. It's all scrambled. We should see if we can put it back together. It might just give us a clue to help us solve this mystery. Audio journal, Dr. Celia Crownworthy. I'm keeping this journal to record the remarkable events that have been taking place in the museum. Every day there are more sightings of the mysterious bug man. And every day more of my staff complains that their exhibits are being damaged. This can't keep up much longer. Why would the bug man want to scramble this mosaic? He might be hiding something. Let's see if we can put it back together. Well, Daphne, it looks to me like the tiles should be arranged so that the patterns all match up with each other. I see. So if we pick up a tile and move it to a new position, the patterns will line up. Right. And the patterns on the outside edge of the mosaic are already in place. So that's probably a good place to start.
job. Way to go! We did it! Look, Fred! There's another mosaic that's been scrambled! Job. Way to go. Let's clear up this mix up and see what's behind it. This could be leading us to a clue. Hooray! Job. Way to go! Golly, Fred, I'd say we're getting pretty good at this. I sure hope so, because there's another one coming right up. You're right, and I have a feeling this one is going to lead to a clue. job Way to go We did it Jeepers Freddy look there's some kind of secret chamber back there Take a look at this Daphne I bet it's a clue. Let's bring it back to the office and take a better look at it. Once we place this clue, we'll be one step closer to solving this mystery. Check out this mustache comb, Scoob. Like something tells me this bug man is less of a spooky kook and more of a grooming human. Huh? Come on, Shaggy, Scooby. Let's go upstairs and look at the bones in the excavation pit exhibit. Why couldn't we look for some spare rib bones instead? Yeah, spare ribs. You too. Wow, they certainly have a lot of fossils. What are fossils? They're plants and animals that are thousands or even millions of years old. So, like, too old to eat? <laughs> like way out, man. Musical bones. Hey, Scoob, see if you can match the melody. Oops.
Looney Tunes, man! The excavation area was really fascinating. Didn't you think so, Shaggy? Like, nah, it was the pits. <laughs> Get it, Scoob? Yeah, the rich. <laughs> Real deep, Shaggy. Real deep. Like we're not going in there? No way. Would you change your mind for a Scooby snack? Like you betcha. Scooby snacks. Uh-huh. <laughs> Sorry there, guys. The Scooby snack box is empty. Fred, let's visit the archaeology exhibit again. Hmm. What is it, Freddy? I'm getting the strangest feeling. Like we've been here before. We were here before. Well, that solves that. Um, no it doesn't, Fred. There's still this mosaic that the bug man messed up. Good work, Daphne. We should have a closer look at it. Maybe it will give us just the clue we need. Jeepers. Let's have another look at that excavation pit. Well, here we are again in the excavation pit. Excavation? Not exit? Oh, let's... Some dog. He can speak, but like he can't spell. Let's take a closer look at that conveyor belt. Bones! That's right, Scoob. Bones. Those shouldn't be there. Maybe if we gather them up, they'll provide us with a clue. A clue to solving this mystery. Okay, Scoob, you gotta jump up and down and side to side, buddy. Just stay on the conveyor belts and see how many bones you can get. And, like, steer clear of the glowing bug man and those creepy slime puddles. Okay, pal? Are you okay, Scooby? You look a little dizzy. Gang, let's take another look at those personnel files. Let's look at these files very... Like, no way are we going in there. It's creepy. Uh-uh. Would a Scooby Snack change your mind? Consider it changed. Yeah, yeah. Like, missed me. <laughs> like, I'm over here. And I'm hungry. Uh-uh. Try again. Let's have another look over here. There might be something interesting in the rocks. <laughs> like, let's roll, man. <laughs> Let's have another look around those weird glowing rocks and see if we can find a clue. Yeah, and like leave no stone unturned. <laughs> Come on, gang. Let's head over to the rock and mineral exhibit. 
I'd like to take another look at that rock display. Keeping an eye out for clues, Freddy? Well... He just wants to see the glowing rocks again. Well, they were really neat. Boy, those rocks sure are pretty. I wonder what... One more set of rocks and we'll be one step closer to solving this mystery. Scooby-Doo. And look, we found something. It looks like a clue. I think we need to take a closer look at it back in the office. If one of our suspects matches every clue, then that suspect must be our ghost. It's a toolbox. Whoever left this lying around must need it for work. That's Dave Hammer, the maintenance supervisor. That's Dave Hammer, the maintenance supervisor. That's that's Dave Hammer, the maintenance supervisor. That's Dave Hammer, the maintenance supervisor. That's Dave Hammer. That's Ralph Rosen, the information. That's Ralph Rosen, the information desk attendant. That's Ralph Rosen, the information desk attendant. That's Billy Seasons, the cook. That's Sandy Chin, Ph.D., the paleontologist. Jeepers! A bottle of sunblock! Whoever uses this must spend some time in the... Hey! It's a tape full of classical music! That's Dr. Celia Crownworthy, the museum director. doesn't go outside much. That's Dr. Celia Crownworthy, the museum. Hey, it's a tape full of classical music. Why the bug man want? That's Dave Hammer, the maintenance super. With all the clues we've put together, I think I figured out the solution to this whole mystery. And I think I've got the perfect plan to catch the bug man. Oh no! Why do I have this feeling like I'm not gonna dig this plan? The next time we see the bug man, we'll use Shaggy and Scooby as bait. Yep, I was right. They can lead him between these two pillars, and I'll be waiting with a net. Uh-uh! Come on, guys. Don't you want to be heroes? The only heroes I want come with a lot of salami, anchovies, and mayo. Like, help me out! Hi, Zoinks! It's the Bugman! I brought y'all some 
double scoop ice cream! <laughs> Good job, Scooby. Now let's see who this bug man really is. Once we decide which clue belongs to which suspect, we'll be able to wrap up this mystery. That's Dave Hammer, the maintenance supervisor. Eats burgers twice a week. That's Dave Hammer, the maintenance supervisor. Hmm. These are all the clues the Bugman left behind. Now who... Jeepers, it's Dave Hammer. The maintenance supervisor. Like I totally knew it. Me too. Good job, you guys. You've uncovered our culprit. But why him? Why Dave Hammer? It's all in his file and in the clues we found. Dave discovered gold in the rocks and minerals exhibit. By scaring away visitors, he could mine the gold for himself. The like in the mine would have been his instead of theirs. Huh? I would have gotten away with it too if it weren't for you meddling kids and your pesky dog. Thanks for helping me out, folks. I sure appreciate it. How can I ever thank you? Who? You said it, Scoob. Caramel crispy crab cakes. The perfect gift for any occasion. We're just glad the museum will be back in business. And that's the last you'll see of the glowing bug man. Huh? Joinks! Like the bug man's back. But there's a trail of green slime on the floor. Mmm. Ice cream. Like it's mint chocolate chip. Guys, where do you think you're going? We're investigating. Yeah. Like I think this mystery might lead us somewhere delicious, Scoob. Scooby dooby doo. <laughs> well, gang, that's another mystery solved. <laughs> And another tummy ache for Scooby-Doo. Like I told you not to eat so much ice cream.